Hey guys, I'm Sean Henry with Pepperland Marketing, and today I'm going to tell you about the crawl anomaly notification in Google Search Console and what you could do about it. Google Search Console is a free tool that helps you diagnose potential issues uh, with your website uh, that Google's running into as it's crawling and indexing your content. Now these are things that you want to pay attention to because resolving these issues can uh, lead your website to rank higher in organic search results and potentially help you get more traffic to your site. Now one of the more common issues that we run into is this crawl anomaly issue. And the way that Google defines that is an unspecified anomaly occurred when fetching this URL. This can mean a 400 or 500 level response code. Now the, the key word here is unspecified. Google tried crawling a URL on your site and something weird happened, but you didn't uh, actually specify the response code, or at least it couldn't see the response code for one reason or another. So this is something that you need to investigate. It could be that the page is simply gone, it no longer exists, and for some reason Google didn't detect the 404. It could be that there's something funny going on with your redirects, or it could be that your website was actually down when Google tried to crawl your content. So you want to dive in and, and uh, see what's going on. Now, you can get to this um, report by going into Google Search Console, and you're going to go to your index coverage, and then there's four key areas. There's error, valid with warnings, valid, and excluded. We're looking at the excluded part of the, um, of the report, and as you scroll down, you will see this crawl anomaly section. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to give you a list of all the pages on your site where Google's run into the crawl anomaly. And um, you know, clicking on an individual URL is going to give you this panel where you can diagnose um, using some of the tools that Google provides to you. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually copy that URL and open it up in your browser. And I did this here, and I could see that this page no longer exists. It's given me a 404 error, page not found. So the question is, why did that actually show up in this report as a crawl anomaly? And one thing I'm going to do is I would hit Control Shift I and uh, go into the network panel and then quickly refresh the page and I want to see what the response header is for this particular page. So I'll let that load and then I'm going to find the URL in this list. There it is, Groundhog Day at the Children's Museum. Click on that and then you're going to see um, several different tabs. You want to click on the headers tab and you should see a status code. So this is showing me a 404 not found which is what I would expect because this is a broken page. So going back to Search Console, I'm probably not going to do anything. This is returning the proper status code, and I just need to let Google now detect that code and eventually drop it from its uh, index, and it no longer needs to crawl anymore. But let's say this page was actually active, or it was redirecting to a, a page that was broken, and that was something that I wanted to fix. Of course, need to go back and clean that up. Um, make sure your redirects are functioning as they, um, as they should be. Make sure that... Um, you know, you're not just redirecting to a page that redirects to another page that redirects to another page. That's a bit like this, where Google's trying to get to a page on your website and it's basically just hitting a wall. So, key thing here is make sure the page is working as expected. Once um, any issues that you run into are resolved, you want to go back to Search Console and uh, run through the different tools that they give you as part of the validation process. Fetch is Google, make sure that Google can crawl and render that page. Uh, view a search result, submit to index, and hopefully it will eventually drop from this crawl anomaly list. Hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions or examples that you'd like to share, let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the future.